I like how occasionally on this channel, it seems like I know what I'm talking about. I never know what I'm talking about. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Today we're going to be talking about the new ABH Prism palette. Now I'm sorry this looks kind of janky, but I was literally working with like chalk crumbs. Can you guys see that? So I had already filmed a first impressions of this video and I did like a little look for you guys and then that video just didn't turn out well like at all. So I figured I would just redo it with my second impressions and I'm going to recreate the look that I made in that video. I wore that eye look in the last video I put up and I had several people asking for tutorials so I figured I would go ahead and just recreate that look in this video. Alright guys, sorry I had to turn on the air conditioner really quick. Uh, it's very toasty in my room. I was schwitzing a little bit. It's October and it's still like 80 outside and I'm getting real upset about it. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this palette. So this is the outer packaging of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette and I love it. Packaging can get me every single time. If you have a pretty package, you could sell anything and I would probably buy it. What I think is really interesting about this box is the cardboard feels different. Like it almost feels like there's a texture to it. It kind of almost feels like the outside of like a NARS lipstick or blush or something like that. And uh, yeah, I like it. I think it's a really nice outer packaging. And that means that I also highly, highly enjoy the actual packaging of the product itself. So the packaging of the palette is beautiful. It looks like the outer packaging only on velvet, which makes it even better. I love like the inlaid gold detail. It's just, I love it. I do also enjoy that this is a nice deep black color. I mean, I'm a little bit biased because black is my favorite color, but I feel like it's going to get less dirty and stained from like the eyeshadows and other makeup. I mean, my Modern Renaissance palette looks disgusting. Let's not lie. It looks pretty gross, but I still love it. But I think this one's going to stay a little bit more clean. So this eyeshadow palette is a holiday edition, so I'm guessing it is not going to be permanent in the collection. It is also $42, and the last time I checked, it was still available on the ABH website. This has 14 different shadows inside, which include a range of like metallics and neutrals, and it also comes with 0.7 grams per pan, or 0.02 ounces for each of the little eyeshadow pans. The eyeshadows were made in the US say and it says it has a shelf life of six months which um, I'm definitely keeping it longer than six months pretty much unless like I get like a rancid smell from my powder products like this I'm gonna use them until they're all gone no matter how long it takes and this is also a cruelty free palette so now that we have all the like details done let's go ahead and get in here and look inside so as you can see it does have a large mirror that folds all the way back which I personally really like when a palette like folds back like this I feel like it's a little bit easier to like maneuver and handle. Inside it does come with a double-ended brush, so on this side we have kind of like a fluffier end. I'm not a huge fan of this brush because this end is quite stiff to me, and these shadows, they're not as soft as subculture shadows, but they still do give a little bit of that like powdery kick up. So when you put in like a more rough coarse brush like this, you're gonna like disturb a lot of the shadow. So I prefer to use something that's a little bit softer. And then on this end, we have more of like a shader brush. And I actually think the shader brush is a little bit more soft than this end over here. Alrighty, so I have used this palette one time. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what the shadows look like just after one time of use. So you can kind of see the textures of the shadows. Um, up here in the corner, we have Lucid. And this one, I have to say, is a little bit difficult getting like pigment off, especially with a brush. And then you can see with some of the other metallics here, I have had to like kind of dig the brush in just a little bit to get a good amount of pigment off of them. And then you can see that from some of the mattes, I have had some powdery kick up, but they're really not that bad. At least I don't think so. And they do give pretty amazing pigment just if you run your finger through them. I'm sure you guys have seen a million swatch videos, so let's just go ahead and get into the eye look. The eye look that I did yesterday, I guess it was, did last me all day. I applied the eyeshadow decently early in the morning and it was still there and shimmery all day long. It did kind of transfer onto my actual eyeliner itself because I do have very hooded eyes. So when I blink, the eyeshadow transfers to my lid up here and then onto my eyeliner, which for me, that's pretty common with any type of like glittery pigmented shadows because I have these big like meat pods over my eyes. Alrighty, so I'm just going to do the look the same way I did yesterday and do my best to recreate it. Um, I've never been good at that. So we're going to see how this goes. So the very first thing I did yesterday was I went in with Lure down here, which is like a grayish purple and it is an ultra matte. And for this, I just took my Real Techniques B04 soft shadow brush and I just kind of 
plopped this into the crease and blended it pretty much all over the lid. Let me just go ahead and show you guys from dipping my brush into this pan a couple of times. I'm really not getting like extreme powder kick up or anything. And that was just a little bit of a smaller fluffy brush. I went into a parallel over here which is a really pretty like chocolatey brown color. And this is also a matte. And this I just ran like into the crease and on the outer edge to deepen things up a little bit. All right, and with that same tapered fluffy brush I'm going to go back into lure here or lure or however you say it. I have a really hard time saying that word. And uh, I'm going to run this underneath my eye. I'm going for a pretty smoky looking eye here, so this is going to be kind of an intense under eyeshadow. If you want your look to be a little bit more polished, you can skip this part. Uh, I just like looking like I'm half dead, I guess. Um, but I like the extra like smoky effect you get from putting eyeshadow pretty far underneath your uh, under eye area. Alrighty, now that all that base work is done, I'm going to go into Osiris here, which is like a really deep purple with a little bit of like pink reflect in it. And I just take that on a packing brush and I'm going to apply it to like the first one third of the inner corner of my lid and then the last one third of the outer corner of my lid, leaving a space in the center. I like how occasionally on this channel it seems like I know what I'm talking about. I never know what I'm talking about. Alrighty, and then when I had some of that like packed down, I went and blended it into the crease a little bit. Alrighty, and now that that is blended out, I personally think you get better pigment payoff with your phalanges. So I just kind of went in with my finger and then I packed on pigment in those same places that I had initially laid it down with the brush. That's a beautiful angle. All right, and now that is thoroughly packed on there, go ahead and go back in with your phalanges here. And this time we're gonna go into Dimension, which is like a grayish purple metallic something. Um, a <laughs> little bit of a silver, and we're going to pack that into the center portion that we left open, and then just kind of meld that together with your two darker sections. And then I went back in and did just a little bit more blending into the crease so I didn't have such a defined line. And then to make this eye stand out just a little bit more, I went in with Lucid, which is this crazy like white gold green color here in the corner and then I dab that right onto that center section just to brighten it up a little bit. And then with this packing brush I'm just going to go in and take like the tiniest ever bit of black and this is a pretty good black. It is very very pigmented so I put a little bit on the brush, wipe a little bit off on the back of my hand and just ever so gently run this underneath the lower lash line and kind of smoke it out. Alrighty guys, so that is the shadow for that side done. I'm gonna go ahead and put the shadow on this eye so I don't look like a weirdo and then I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so here it is complete with eyeliner and mascara. I'm hoping I did a pretty good job of recreating the look that I did yesterday. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks all right. I think it would probably even look better with like falsies or something like that, but uh, Overall, I'm enjoying the look. Also, yesterday I was wearing this lipstick. This is the uh, La Absolu Rouge 359 Hypnotic by Lancome, and this is a very interesting lipstick shade. I kind of wanted to go a little bit like 90s and grungy with this look, so this is like a sheer purpley pale makes you almost look like a zombie lipstick. Alrighty, and here it is with the lipstick on. I do like this look together. It's definitely more of like an evening look, but if, I mean, if you wanna wear this to the office, go for it. I'm not holding you back. Alrighty, so my final thoughts on the palette are, I actually really enjoy it. I think it's gonna be a fun palette to play with. I like that it's a little bit like different and out there and there's a random like very lime green eyeshadow shade, which you really don't see it too often. I can't wait to see what I'm gonna do with that, but I think it's gonna be fun. I really like the mattes in this palette and I think the metallics are very pigmented and very pretty. The only one I really have an issue with up here is Lucid and I've mentioned that a couple times. I think the little corner shade in the Subculture palette also kind of had those same issues where I kind of like had to dig at it a little bit to get anything out of it. But the rest of them I think are really pretty shadows and they're gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Now, I've been seeing a lot of comments like saying, 
oh, I'm not getting this palette until I know if it's better than Salt Culture, and I am having a hard time deciding if this palette's better than Subculture because I personally enjoyed Subculture. I know that's kind of like a controversial thing to say, but I actually like it and I still continue to use that palette to this day. I do think this one is a little bit different than Subculture though. Um, the shadows to me feel like they're a little bit harder pressed. Some of them are a little bit powdery. Uh, the Sphere one is a little bit powdery, but for me, the rest of them, you know, aren't like dusting up everywhere and going crazy. I did have a tiny bit of issue with Fallout with the Osiris one as I was like packing it onto my lids, but for the most part, I think it all held in there pretty good. But overall, so far, I'm really enjoying the palette. If my mind changes on that, I will definitely update you guys. This is only my second day playing with it, but for now, I'm liking it. Uh, anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. I know I'm not very good at tutorials. I'm very, very sorry about that. Um, tutorials are pretty difficult for me, so hopefully we were able to get through it decently smooth. Anyway, don't forget that we have our monthly Colourpop giveaway going on right now that I would link down below. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment on that video. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So just thank you so very much for watching, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!